listening, I'm going to ask you to put your hands together again if you think that nature is awesome and wonderful. I decided to present to you something original. And as you can tell by the first word, it's going to be about our sun. It's about solar equations. The story starts in the interior of Suriname in a place called Poti Hill. I am a tour guide, as was told just now. I love to ask my people to think about nature. Maybe I should ask you to do that. Don't be neutral. Point where your gut feeling says north is. Let's do this. One, two, three. Where's north? The people that were pointing that way were correct. I hope my <laughs> pointing point is made. I like to play little games like that on people. And when I bring my groups up to Putty Hill, the itinerary brings us there at noon. I like to ask them, which way do you all think Paramaribo is? Which is the same question, because Palumu, where Poti Hill lies, is south. And then, yeah, at noon it's hot on top of this Inselberg sticking out of the forest. And then you get people to actually look up at the sun and what does the sun tell you at 12 o'clock in Suriname? That's the first thing it tells you, that it's hot. But it tells you a lot more. Actually, nature tells us all the time, in the daytime and in the nighttime, it tells us where north is. Sometimes the sun is going to be north of Suriname. Sometimes it's going to be directly overhead at noon. And sometimes it's going to be south. But to understand that, you have to check out this next slide. If you look all the way over on the right, that's the situation that's going to be just a few days from now, the 21st of December, which most people know is the shortest day in the northern hemisphere. The axis of the Earth is tilted by an angle of 23 and a half degrees. And that is why on the 21st of December, the sun is above 23 and a half degrees south of the equator, the Tropic of Capricorn, or Steenbokskeerkring as we call it in Dutch. As the Earth orbits around the sun, three months later, it's all the way on the top of the picture where we have the sun now directly over the equator. It's now the 21st of March, and um, the day and night are equally long everywhere on Earth. Three months later, we arrive at what is the longest day in the Northern Hemisphere, with the sun directly over the Tropic of Cancer, or the Kreeftskeerkring. And then back to the 21st September, we have the same situation as on the 21st of March, with the sun directly over the equator. Suriname lies between 2 and 6 degrees north of the equator, just above the equator. So that means, basically, for most of the time, well, probably this here is not very clear, so I put all this information in a graph. This is what's actually going on. The sun starts down here at the 21st of December, then it goes up. As you can see, somewhere the 21st of March, it crosses the equator, so some two and th between 2 and 6 should be somewhere in here. That's when it's over Suriname, somewhere at the end of March, beginning of April, and so on. OK, now imagine yourself standing on top of that mountain and your guide asking you a silly question, which way is north? Basically, you need to know which time of the year it is and whether the sun is going to be north, overhead, or south. I wanted to be able to calculate it without a calculator or something else that's fancy, just out of my head. I thought that would be possible. Um, up here, please note, this is the equation or the function that is pictured over here. Well, the number of days since January 1, that's this N in here. I can calculate that, but that takes a little bit of time. I figured 
it should be able to make something easier, a little bit easier. The first thing I did was put in a straight line, eliminating the coziness with that. I, was, I thought, well, the straight line should be easier, and the 23 and a half is also kind of difficult. I rounded that off to 24. That's easier to work with. Mind you, this was done in a time when we had no smartphones. The smartphones in this time looked like that. Nowadays, you would have an app for it. But OK, um, as you see now, the um, green part illustrates that there's a margin of error involved, of course. But it should be a, we should be able to calculate that by head, is what I thought. Um, what, ex what effectively goes on is that the sun goes from minus 24 in a few days to plus 24. That's total 48 degrees, right, in half a year. And then it goes back down, which is in total 96 degrees, which is wonderfully dividable by 12 months. That means it goes 8 degrees a month, right? Are you calculating with me? <laughs> so I thought 8 degrees per month is much easier to work with the degrees since the 1st of January instead of the number of days since the 1st of, first of January. And um, I was able to come up with this equation. I'm sorry. Um, it must sound like one of your math lessons in school. But here, the x is your number of degrees since the 1st of January, which is 8 per month, which is a little bit easier to calculate than the number of days since the 1st of January. So um, after that, we just follow the equation. Let's do an example for today. Today is the 11th of December. December is the 12th month, so in the 11 months that have passed already, we have 11 times 8 is 88 degrees. And then um, plus the 11, that's the 11th for, it's 11th of December today. If we divide that by 4, we get approximately 3. So 88 plus 3, that gives us 91 as the x for today. 91 minus 45 is what the equation says is 46 minus 46 plus 24 is minus 22, meaning that today the sun is 22 degrees south of the equator. That arithmetic didn't take more than two minutes. It's still not very easy, but still within two minutes we calculated that the sun, that way was north, right? That the sun is not going to rise and come directly overhead, but it's actually going to be way behind me, which means that at 12 o'clock, the sun is going to be how far back? Well, minus 22 from the equator, not from Paramaribo, since Paramaribo is 6 degrees above the equator. From 6 to minus 22 is a difference of 28, which is actually what makes this a universal calculation. Because um, if it's 22 degrees above the, you know, below the equator, it doesn't matter if you're on the North Pole or on the South Pole. It's going to be 22 degrees south of the equator. I basically got my little calculation, which is, as you see, a little bit off what's really going on. This is the real equation minus mine. So this is basically my margin of error over here. And apart from the fact that it shows my mistake, I think it's actually a wonderful <laughs> curve line. I <laughs> didn't know math was that beautiful. I'm um, sorry, I can't resist. I think it looks like a king vulture. <laughs> That's what I do. I show people birds. I couldn't resist. Sorry. <laughs> but as you see, at the top and at the zero points of the graph, the equation is pretty accurate. And in between, it's a few degrees off. The strengths of this, it's easy to calculate. You can calculate it out of your head without a cosiness. You can save space on your phone, <laughs> which is also a nice thing. It exercises brain cells. I think we should all exercise a lot. <laughs> that helps, does it? People want smart kids. Two weaknesses. One is that it's not terribly exact. And the second one is that it's substitutable by an app. 
I think we need that word, abstitutable. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? Basically, I want to invite you to, with me, look at nature and to think about it and to try to convert it to your own level of understanding and try to figure out things, to think about why the moon has different faces that it shows us, to think about why the moon gives us low and high tide in the rivers and what that means to life on Earth, to look up at the stars and to realize that every atom and everything you know was made in a star. Atoms don't get made here on Earth, they're just here. Yeah, great thoughts are thought up by great minds, and I think all of you have one. Well, as far as my equation goes, solar equations at noon is too long, so I'm still looking for a good abbreviation or a good acronym. <laughs>